All right, it is April 24th, 25th. Depending on what time zone you're in, we've got another rock update today. The brand new content coming out is mysterious objects are turning up in the waters of Holoroth's plumed castle, and the skies over Fairyland Pangli seems to pour, portend something ominous. Something is coming. Um, Tenacity Season Immortal War is now available, so the next season of Immortal War. You guys can start checking out all of these fun new items that you guys can get, uh, which it seems like Infernal Cannon. We'll have to check that out and see what that looks like. Uh, limited time event Tempered Metal um, is going to be going for from April 24th to May 8th, so uh, a little bit of a long, or I guess about the same, for two weeks until the next update. Um, complete daily quest. Uh, players can obtain Liam's token. So we're rearing up as we're getting ready for Liam to join the game and uh, get a little bit of lore, so maybe some cosmetics for him and everything like that. Um, each day you can help a player obtain a lodestone by tapping share Liam's totem. So very similar to other events we've had with new characters with sharing items and unlocking things to unlock more lore throughout your uh weeks leading up to the character's release we have a limited time event soothing picnic um sign in daily to get lotus leaves the number of lotus leaves will increase after signing for 10 days open a lotus leaf to randomly get a reward from treasure legendary outfit showdown soul jade gift tenacity coin spectral silk or tay this is going to be going from may 24th to may 13th so if you guys do that you guys have a chance uh players can get the legendary accessory whale glass peerless treasure choice gift and tenacity treasure and other rewards they're also is season treasure return so you guys can get some of those cosmetics you may have missed in the past seasons get them before they're gone and you don't get to access the treasures for quite some time again we also have in-game adjustments optimize the pillar display at the songbird arena in fairland Pangli. for better speculation we have mechanism adjustments adjusted the hitbox of scout bell and springtime targets to address certain cases where they cannot be hit this has actually been a long-standing complaint where certain times people like i like certain ways they try to hit it with a ranged weapon and bows and stuff it doesn't hit so that's actually good change the effect of chandeliers and hollerath plume castle now these chandeliers will cause characters that they hit to be stunned for three seconds yo okay interesting interesting i'm assuming that means more chandeliers not just the one in the plume castle but maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong it says with an s meaning there's more than one so that is what i would assume we've got hot potato counter newly added weapon to pull pulse oh, oh 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 my new favorite mode hot potato hot potato hot potato hot potato oh my god okay and blistering edge oh we're playing that today we're playing that today we're playing that today okay reduce the number of rounds in solo and trio modes and adjusted the health value of each round in solo mode optimize the performance when the hot potato respawns that's good because when it respawns i swear half the time i get murdered randomly and it's annoying adjusted the speed of hot potato enabled ref mode for custom rooms that's great we can host tournaments in it then in custom games that would be super fun um and enable ref mode uh, after being knocked out players can send messages in the channels which uh which player they're spectating and check the game rules live stat leaderboards now also show you that's really nice like quality of life updates Re really great really great um weapon adjustment as the festival water event has come to an end the projectile of the swarm has been changed back to normal bombs and can no longer be obtained from stashes projectiles direct hit damage multipliers change back uh to normal and explosives damage multiplier to normal um out of game adjustments rotation the rotation of game modes will be changed to shadow search hollow roth capture the spirit well celestra capture the spirit well plume castle shadow surge capture the spirit well capture the spirit well okay <laughs> so i guess now instead of it flopping back and forth you have a chunkier time for capture the spirit well which is nice so we can appreciate that um added the toggle feature for cloak yeah toggle Very nice, very nice. Optimize the outfit see-through effect. Um, for the golden damselfly, giant whale. Oh, a lot of them. 
Nine tail destiny. Okay, when enabled, transparency allows see through effect for outfits and cosmetics that block your view. Toggle the preview, how it shows in game. So you can choose as the player how much it's obstructed from your point of view uh, if you're playing with those cosmetics on. Um, so it applies during matches and other player models are unaffected, just yours. Um, showdown adjustment, Enigma Peak Thunder wielding is available now. So there's the in the Enigma Peak uh, showdown soul jades drop by various kinds. If you defeat a certain bot, a number of bosses in a single match, you can also receive uh, rewards like a legendary soul jade choice gift, exclusive achievements, and so on. Some bosses in the Enigma Peak now have special boosts and seasons Enigma Peak will have two phases, thunder wielding and ice wielding and the, it is recommended to use the corresponding soul jades for an easier experience stay tuned for a specific time of the enigma p thunder wielding in the upcoming notices combat adjustments adjusted the startup frames for water and adjusted the startup frames for depths fiend um adjusted the collision size of honest ariette uh optimized the flash effect cues for the blue moves of honest rock and in its second phase, Omnis Ariet, I, I, Ariet, I'm sorry if I'm saying these wrong. Hi, Linger Boo, what you doing? Um, change the ghost a hornet's dash from a golden move to a white move and shorten the duration. It can block a bullets during the move. Omnis Hell Scorch and Omnis Umbra Scorch now have new execution strikes and Enigma Domain adjusted. Adjusted the monster types in their activity ranges and certain strongholds of Celestra in the Enigma Domain. Adjusted the combat range of bosses in Celestra in the Enigma Domain. And Yama's Abyss adjustment reduced the total number of stages in Void Space from 30 to 24. Uh, each rift dealer and void space will now sell a maximum of 20 carved jades um and, and an extra enigma ring will be given during the preparation phase and after boss battles in void space uh the dev notes of why these changes are we've adjusted the pace in void space shortening the duration of individual games while ensuring the income per game in the development ceiling remain unchanged um they reduced the total number of monsters appearing in protect the soul altar stage and adjusted the spawn locations of some ranged monsters um feature adjustments uh global max drop level has been uh increased from 750 to 760 max and um, enhancement level has been increased from 770 to 780 these two levels will no longer change during the showdown season um the gameplay intro for the void space is now displayed in the bottom of the gameplay interface and extended the time required for the stage of the immovable in doom mode Woo! That's the showdown stuff. Feature optimization client. Optimize the loading for melee weapon assets to improve fluency greatly. Um, title adjustments. After selecting titles on the profile page, there will be broadcast to all players during the preparation phase. Titles that will broadcast are tournament titles like Top 100 Immortal, Top 100 Hall of Fame, Top 100 Yama's Abyss, and Top 100 Speedrun Leaderboard. Also, other titles no longer ha show the previous pop-up prompts. Um, hero theme adjustment. Hero themes can be equipped uh, to certain and outfits without affecting the music played while wearing other outfits uh justice chamber if the leader of the justice chamber has been offline for 14 days members of the justice chamber have a chance to take over the leader uh following order co-leader honorary leaders members of the level five low okay so people can steal our our, <laughs> our stuff that's fine playstation optimization improve the garbage collection process reduce the impact that garbage collection has on frame rate no garbage collection happens when the application needs to free up memory oh, okay i was like what is garbage collection optimize visual effects in the tutorials to prevent frame rate drops so we have the new outfit coming to the store for uh this is Sheol and a um in a long sword super pretty we have uh Akos's new outfit and change to his alt which we already looked at we have new discounts for all of these items and then um there's an epic cu a customization eyeshadow for the spectral silk store and then um an accessory as well in the spectral silk uh, store and then we're at the bottom we're almost done <laughs> bug fixes showdown related bugs fixed a scene physic issue where the second floor bridge of celestia and the enigma domain fixed an issue where the miasma ghost summoned by curse spawns and thunder spawns in yama's abyss could have abnormally high health and in-game bugs uh fixed an issue where chandeliers in hollow earth plumed would uh they would not affect characters in the area after they fall okay so now they do we saw that earlier playstation um fixed some crashes that have been caused by asynchronous um instant 
Tiation and Fairland Peg Light Bug fix an issue in the Peg Light where the quick gift button for instruments is still visible in photo mode. Boom!